So it's a Wednesday morning at, at eight o'clock. <laughs> There's that guy. <laughs> So this is the, the, the back way. This is the way that you get in to the cathedral. And I'm sure you can't do that with a backpack on. You might see the pilgrims walking in. Now coming in to the uh, main plaza again. Yeah, no, no bagpipes out. That's okay, too early for bagpipes. Last look, and a big truck pulls up. <laughs> it's fitting. So of the hikers here, I don't recognize anyone. So <clears throat> last look, I won't be coming back to here. I'll be coming back to the airport. Uh, so this is uh, farewell <laughs> from Santiago de Compostela. Back on the Camino. Apparently it's a traffic to drop your kid off at school. And just like that, back in the woods, there's the view of the Cathedral looking back. <laughs> so we have company. So catching up to the people who left earlier, we left about 8.30. eucalyptus forests. It's a gaggle. are logging trees. Um, almost all of these uh, eucalyptus are all done as a crop. They'll plant new ones. Wow. Wow. Right back to the Camino. Coming up to the town of Agua Pesada, the Oreo bus stop. So we're stopping to just get a little coffee here and enjoy the beautiful view. So that was a nice coffee con leche. That'll get us the next 10K to a town called Negri Negrira. And uh, we'll probably have a little beer there and a little lunch. Smallest old bridge I've seen. Almost to the top of a 
pretty good sized climb. I don't know who she is or what she wants us to look at. So while I got some time, what about some odd things about about Spain or France? Uh, one odd odd thing is uh, you get French fries with everything. French fries go with any kind of meal. <laughs> and the French fries never have salt on them. And they uh, uh, don't have salt or pepper on the table ever. And they don't have ketchup on the table. So you always have to go ask for it. And then you feel like, well, I'm, I'm an American, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to want ketchup. It's always in the sachet as well. Yeah, yeah. And they're in these little, you know, packets. So you got to take like eight packets. <laughs> uh, one other thing, waiters will come to your table smoking a cigarette. <laughs> While smoking a cigarette. It's just uh, weird. Kids uh, in the bar. Yeah, the kids will be in the bar with their parents. Babies will, will, will be in a bar. Uh, it's just like, wow, look at that. <laughs> There's a, you know, a three-year-old. <laughs> totally strange. The Spanish do not know how to modulate their voice. Oh, that's, so, that's true. I, I completely agree with you with that. So they'll be two, two feet away. Nigel, how's it going? Oh, happy to hang a holla. <laughs> I went to the store yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> like, what the they'll, and they'll do that at 2 a.m. Yep, or more. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh! The, the, the thing is, the middle of the night for them is three or four a.m. Three or four a.m. That's that's like you know the the night's still young. They don't come out <laughs> until nine or oh, 10 man. to eat. So do they do, do they feed their kids at you know at uh, nine o'clock at night? I don't know, but it's it's just strange. Um, nobody knows what soft butter is. <laughs> it, they'll, they'll give give you a piece of toast and rock hard butter. What am I supposed to do with that? You can barely get your knife through it. Ah. Uh, so if it does come in packets, I'll uh, put it in my pocket for for a while. You have and to adapt. You got to adapt. You know, I'm this is Spain. Up. I'm fed up of adapting. I don't want to adapt. <laughs> it it doesn't make any sense. It, it's the same thing as coffee in a bowl. You know, come on. And uh, you, you get a drink or something, and it's always a round figure. It's always 12 euros, 30 yeah. euros. It's never <laughs> 12, 47 yeah. or something no, like yeah, that. Right. It's always rounded up yeah, in his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or her. And if you're a tourist, there's a couple couple euros, you know, thrown yeah. in. Well, it's 10 for, you know, locals, but it's 12 for you. Because... Um, uh, the guy was going to charge me 12 euros for the beers that I bought, and the other guy showed over, no, it was 10.50. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't rounded Oops. up. And then there was a discussion going back and forth between the two guys, and I got it for 10.50. So, yeah. hey. It's a strange place. Yeah, and as I said in the past, if, if people deal with pilgrims, they're sick to death of pilgrims. It's <laughs> like when uh, you walk in, oh man, frowny face. Arr, arr, arr. Watch <laughs> one. Oh God! We were, we were. You uh, want to buy something? Oh, oh my come gosh! On. Again? <laughs> we were walking with uh, Max. He was that young, young kid a couple uh, days ago. Uh, you, that that kid is as is as sweet as you can be, and and he said, "God, I feel like people are mad at me when I walk in. What did I do? <laughs> he didn't do anything, Max. It's just they, you know, they just got bad." attitudes and uh, uh, for for just anyone who's not local it's just a strange setup but but we have come across many people many people really friendly really happy smiley. to the point that when they smile we're going what huh? but did I are you talking to me yeah, yeah. but we have met some incredibly grumpy uh, incredibly people. grumpy people anyway <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, it's the Camino. <laughs> it's the Camino. Wink me no. Wink me no. Boy, it's like a town out of the old west. Just <laughs> right into town. Beautiful. Coming up on Pont Masira.
at nighttime it moves to the other side of the window. <laughs> non non potable. You shall look. Another old bridge. Well, they really were just master masons. A happy little stream. Oh man, there is absolutely no need for a backpack like that on this trail. to the town of Negriva. So, just stopping for a little beer. Here's my view. Kinda noisy. All right, so, uh, about 12 more K to go to our Alberga about eight more to the next break. So that's all I, I, I just try to go to the next break. Because <laughs> we're doing a, like a 22 and 23 mile day today. And uh, yeah, it's warm. So coming on this like little row, looks like just a abandoned restaurants or something. Nothing there. Get the perfect shot without getting killed. I was so lucky. I could have been killed there, boy. Oh, that helps. So I guess this is like the plaza of the town. This would take some explanation. Daddy, don't go. Shane, Shane. He's going on the Camino. He's going on the Camino. Stay at home, Daddy. What is it? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. What is it going on with this? Yeah, uh, he's taking off, I guess. You know, leaving the family and going out to be a hobo. Always a climb out of town. And and always the the video can't show a climb. This is, so in the 60s, if you remember, we were in the 80s this morning. We'll be in the 50s before we're done. An ancient church and an even more ancient uh, cemetery. Wow, I think the roof is uh, shot. What do you think? And it needs some new windows. And nature is trying to reabsorb it. It always reminds me of the, of the line, and I think it was Moody Blues where empires have turned back to sand. Yep. It's not all a road walk. There are some. Nice forested trails. So that last town was the uh, uh, end of stage point. So probably everybody stayed there. And the trail is completely vacant now. Um, so we've, we're, we're about 10K in front of that, that uh, stage point. So it'll, it'll probably be really empty tomorrow morning too. Warming up. It's like 80 degrees. Wow. What, what a simple church. And yeah, nobody on the trail.
the town of Librivo. Serio. It's not a uh, booming town. And the last two towns, I think, were just ghost towns. There's where we're going. Peregrino menu. This is our albergue. No, this is ours here. And here it is, Pension 